All right, here we go, everybody. Episode four of our Bard Sung series where we're painting the Stone Heart, a little dwarfish warrior character. Very awesome looking miniature. First off, I always want to thank my YouTube members. Thank you so much for everything you do. Your contributions do not go unnoticed. They do help with this channel tremendously. So thank you so very, very much for everything you do. I can't thank you guys enough. If this is your first time with the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell so you get notified on those new episodes. I have so many games still coming in. This is kind of some filler stuff, but without further ado, let's go. The first thing you're going to do is scrape off all those nasty mold lines. There's one on the side of the face that I really forgot about, and you're going to notice it here in a little bit. So make sure you get that. And if you need any uh, supplies, hit that description below. i got links to everything you may need. We're then going to use some sterling mud on the base to get that mud. Let that dry about 15 minutes or so. Once completely dry, hit it with some black primer, whether you're using some airbrush paint or if you're using some spray can paint whatever you want to use but hit it with entire black make sure that mud is completely dry before you do this next we're going to take some white i'm using an airbrush and i'm hitting it from above zenith will highlight if you're using spray paint same thing hit it from above don't overdo it we're just creating that nice little variant The first thing we're going to do is we're going to knock out all of that armor first. And you'll see why here in a second because we got to do some massive dry brushing. So first thing we're going to do is some Grey Knight steel on the armor. Just go over everything. That includes the hands, legs, um, side pads, chest, pauldron area. Next, we're going to hit that entire area with some Nolan Oil, really dull it down, and we're going to let this dry. Now this is a real optional step. I took some ivory and I'm trying to match the card art, but I ended up not doing it on the face because I felt like it was going to ruin the face because I thought the coloring turned out real well with the contour of the face and the shading. So I decided not to do it on the face. So I'm just adding some ivory here and there just to kind of match the card out a little bit. It's very negligible. You don't really need to do this, but you can if you want. Once satisfied with that, we're going to take some Ruin Fang steel on a dry brush, and we're just going to brighten up that area just a little bit, just to make it a little bit more shiny, but not too shiny. Kind of want a little bit dull. Next, we're going to hit that area on the legs, front and back, with some Tuscore for very matching the card art type area. And for all of our wooden areas on our mace and our axe, we're going to be using some dryad bark. For the mace and the axe heads, the instruments of death, we're going to be using some iron warriors. And switching to the back, going for that bed roll, we're going to be hitting it with some Death Corpse Drab. And 
And for our backpack, we're going to be using some Mornfang Brown. We're going to go over this after this dries with some other tone here in a moment. But hit those straps as well on that bedroll. For our face, we're going to be using some Cadian Flesh Tone. Now, they have little ears on this miniature. You can barely tell they're there. So that's that mole line that I was kind of thinking it was a mole line it wasn't a mole line i guess it is a mole line now it looks like a mole line but the ears are attached to that mole line so do whatever you want for the hair base color we're going to be using a little steel legion drab And for the whites of the eyes, the eye itself, we're going to do a little pre-painting, um, I guess you could say, if that makes any sense whatsoever. We're going to paint those white eyeballs onto our face. Just take your time on this. This is probably the hardest part. Do not make them too big. You can always go smaller. If you want to make them a little bit bigger, you can. Back to that backpack and straps, we're hitting those buckles with a little bit of Retributor armor, and that concludes the base colors of our miniature. Moving on to the washes. Alright, the first wash we're going to use, and we're only using three, I think, we're going to be doing some Reichland Flesh Shade on the face and the skin. Obviously, that's why it's called Reichland Flesh Shade. Uh, don't be shy with this, but don't, like, douse it like a fire hose. Just get up in it. Next, we're going to use this on the hair, the brown portions, the backpack, the bedroll, and the red under garments, I guess you could say. Red pants. We'll say red pants. Yeah, we're going to use the Agractor shade. And for our metal pieces of our Instruments of Death, Nolan Oil. First things first, we're going to do the eyeball pupils. Now, the eyes turned out pretty good. We're not going to try and brighten them up at all. We're just going to put a little black dot in the middle of each eye. Abaddon Black, take your time, please. Next, we're going to be working on the skin. And the first thing we're going to be doing is a reapplication of Cadian Flesh Tone. Now, we want to work on the bridge of the nose, cheekbones, forehead, side of the head. And if you're looking at the miniature, that left-hand side, so if you turn your, your hand and you're looking at that left side of the miniature, you're going to notice there's some indentation on the side of the head. We don't want to get that just above it. Next, we're going to take a 50-50 mix of Kislev Flesh and Cadian Flesh Tone. And again, go over, over the same areas, but very lightly. You don't want to overload your brush. Very thin paints here. Working on those highlights, do not overdo it. Really work up those tones, let it dry, and then add another layer if you want. And for a final highlight that I did, you can go further than this if you want. I'm using pure Kislev Flesh, and we are just going over the same areas, really focusing on that forehead, the bridge of the nose, the cheekbones, and that side of the head, specifically more towards the top. Really gonna give you a nice little tone variation of that skin color. Next, we're going to brighten up that hair just a little bit. We're going to use some Zamsi Desert. We're just going to pick out some strands on there. You can use the edge of it. You can use whatever you want just to make it look a little bit brighter. Now to do a little bit of highlighting on our instruments of death, we're just going to use a nice little dry brush Necron compound. Nothing crazy, pretty simple.
And to just highlight up our pants just a little bit, we're gonna redo an application of Tuscore fur just on the raised areas, nothing in the recesses whatsoever, just on the raised areas. And to change the color of that backpack a little bit, we're gonna use a little bit of Doom Bowl Brown and hit those straps in that backpack, leaving a little bit of that original Morn Frank Brown underneath and in the recesses just a little bit. Nice little two-tone color right there. And to brighten up our bedroll a little bit to match the forest floor, we're gonna use some Lauren Forest and really just hitting those edges, nothing crazy, nothing in the recesses, just a little brightness. Moving on to the base, because we are done with our main miniature, we're going to hit those ruins spots with a little Griff Charger Gray. And to add a little bit of greenery in there, we're going to take some Militarium Green and put it wherever we feel like it. There's no right or wrong way to do that. And then we're going to take some Saigor Brown and do the rest of the base pretty easy. If you want to thin it, add some medium in there, some contrast medium. And you can thin it and that white will really stick out, really make it that nice little tone color. And finally, Abaddon Black on the rim of the base because that means we're done your favorite part of painting the miniature because we're adding it to the collection just like that well everybody look how good you did look how amazing your miniature looks fantastic nothing crazy nothing over the top nothing that's saying oh, this is too hard because i have done some some tutorials that are kind of difficult and yes i know i've heard about it so i just want to say thank you for watching thank you for being a part of the nerd knights family Leave me a comment below. Tell me what you want to see. You got a lot of games coming up, but until next time, paint on.